Good evening, everyone. Tonight I'd like to show you a couple of ideas, an analogy that will hopefully help you <coughs> with tone. And I'll use Chopin and Liszt uh, examples to demonstrate. Uh, it's, you, you may think it's using as far stretched of the imagination, but if you really apply it, it makes all the difference. There's such a difference between technique and building finger strength with a piece before you play it as you build it up. And when you go to play it, the, the way you go to play it can't sound like the, the strength that you use to um, create, uh, to do technique on it. So uh, here are some of the ideas that you need to think about. First of all, as I've said so many times, it starts with relaxation and the arm is hanging, so you have to be able to release on the way up and flop. Well, if you can think of the arm, the whole arm, like a lasso, and whip it up and down, whip it up and down, that whipping is what sets you out so that when you come in, you can flop right through to the floor, but play down from the knuckles, from the main arch with each finger, to depress its key and to balance the weight. So what closes and what opens make the finger firm, but the hand can be relaxed. So you have to be able to relax your hand. So when then the next thing is if you imagine this is a tank of water, and you know those pedal boats that they use on Dow's Lake, the you're you're pedaling and, and you're in the water and you're propelling yourself forward. Well if you can imagine pe standing and pedaling and you're going down into the, into the water with that strength, but you come to the point where you're balancing on it, then each finger has that kind of strength to it. And, and when you can feel that and then have two down at once and then release that one and come to the next and then the next, while you've got all this lassoing and freedom, it gives it liberates your tone and it keeps you connecting your notes and then you can draw an arc for the shape of the phrase in your mind and in the atmosphere of the sound you're creating because you've got this linking of the weight from one note to the next so if i took for example if i took the um, the unsuspiro of list if i release on the way up when I come down in, I play down from the arch for each note. You see, I'm not missing any notes. I'm hearing every single note because each finger is pedaling like that. It's, it's got that, you've, you have to relax the hand and come down in that the finger can play down and have that pressure down. Find that pressure that works. That's what Rubenstein said. All I know he said is I found a pressure that works. And that's what that pressure is. If you can lasso all that weight up and then flop to the floor and then pedal, play down from the main arch. So, so if I, See, I can make a curve, a line, so. So if I took something like this, if I don't hear enough tone, it's because I didn't think of, re of lassoing the whole arm up over that next note. See, now I can come as gently as I want. Relax the hand. And by saying relax my hand as I come in, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more warmth to the sound. So too big.
each individual finger, one after the other, in the sequence, even when it's something like that, where it's three against eight. <laughs> you have to be able to do it. And so then you can see if I just go with the finger, it's going to be plain. But if I can get the, the release on the way up to go to the floor, and my whole body is leaning forward, I'm sitting on the front half of the bench, and then. If it's too big, just relax the hand, but link the pedaling from that note to this. Here, tie down. gives you a few ideas. It's, there's just so many I could do this. And don't be afraid to lasso it up like that because then you're in a position that you can come in as gently as, as you want with how you pedal that note, as long as you get down in the water to pedal down with your finger. And then balance it and lead and connect to the next note. So uh, there's just so many pieces, and I could do it even in this. Trumpet. If that's too big, go for the flat of the finger, lasso out, and come in with a relaxed hand. You see, and it's much warmer. fingers pedaled like that and linked that there's two down at once and then a clean release to the next and that and I can do it in, in other things like Bach too if I don't want to connect because I want a clean release so each one flop up crash or I go I'm linking it with my fingers then if I add the pedal You can go slower and, and create whatever atmosphere you want as long as you keep it even and, and balanced between the hands so that the left hand isn't drowning out the melody. It, it's fun to practice like that. You can get a lot of pleasure out of it. Anyway, I hope that gives you a few ideas. Have a good night. Bye-bye.